Hello everyone, Ronis with it, another color grading tutorial and in this color grading tutorial we are going to be learning about how to achieve those rich melanin chocolate skin tones in Photoshop. So this is going to be basically a color grading tutorial and as you can see we are going to achieve this image uh, from looking like this to looking like this. So you can see a before and after. So this tutorial is basically about to get these rich melanin chocolate skin tones in Photoshop are using very few and very simple steps to follow and as you can see i already did the color grading uh sorry the skin retouching using frequency separation and you can see the image before and after and for those who would love to learn about frequency separation in photoshop i'm going to put the link for you guys right above here so that you guys can follow along and understand each and every step about skin retouching using frequency separation in photoshop and this story is going to be uh, when you click on that link you're going to be understanding each and every step about skin retouching in photoshop then i also did the dodging and burning and i think you can see the before and after i did the dodging and burning for this very image and yesterday i dropped a video about dodging and burning by just drawing lines and it's the same technique i used for this very image and i'm also going to put the link for you guys right above here so that you can follow along and understand that technique of dodging and burning to bring back or add shape or dimension to your images easily i think you can see that then we are going to color grade this image uh, from looking like this yeah from looking like this to looking like this in just photoshop so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come and i'm going to delete this so that we can start from scratch and understand each and every step for color grading at uh, this very image so let's kick in and restart uh, color grading and don't forget to subscribe like this video and give me a feedback in the comment section so we are going to first come to the adjustments and we're going to come to black and white uh, because uh, this is where the magic starts to happen and after you have done that we are going to be coming uh, to these uh, channels later on so just leave it the way it is then after you have created the black and white layer come right to the blending and change it from normal and just look for multiply so when you click on multiply you're going to uh, notice that your image has been really darkened all the way so what we want to do we want to uh, reduce on uh, the effect of this uh, multiply layer of the black and white so we're going to come right here under the blending and we're just going to uh, reduce on the opacity like that so I think we're going to go with 48 for this image then after what we are going to do, we are going to come and create a second black and white adjustment layer. So we are basically going to look for these black and white layers to and play with the blending modes and desaturate the image so that we can achieve uh, most of that chocolate melanin kind of look in the image. And after you have done so, just come and close this. So leave the blending mode in normal and just come and uh, reduce on the opacity uh, to kind of uh, desaturate uh, this image like that. So I think you can see where we are heading right now. Then you're going to come and create the third black and white layer or the uh, adjustment layer. Then come and change the blending mode from normal. And this time around you're going to go uh, with overlay like that. So you can see overlay has totally darkened the image. And remember what we have done previously for the previous steps. You're going to come right here under the opacity and you are going to uh, reduce on the effect or the opacity of uh, the overlay blend mode until we see like uh, it is really okay then what we are going to be doing right now we are going to now dive into the hue and saturation panel to play around with the colors in this image so we are just going to come right down here and you are going to look for hue and saturation since we want to deal with uh, removing uh playing around with the colors remember skin tones are usually the yellows and the reds in the image so we are going first of all come to the master and we're just going to uh, drop down uh, the saturation of the whole master like that at around negative nine then you're going to come and drop and click on uh, the reds and you're going to uh, reduce on the reds in the image like that i think you can see we are now going towards achieving that kind of look then you're going to come to the yellows 
Remember, skin tones are usually contain the yellows and the reds in the image. So you're going to come and you're going to uh, reduce on the saturation of uh, the yellows in this image to achieve that kind of chocolate kind of skin tone or melanin kind of skin tone. Then you're going to come under the reds like this and you're going to uh, hue uh, these reds a little bit to around negative Let's go with around 2 for this image. And after we have done so, you can see what the hue and saturation has basically done uh, to this image. We have kind of muted the colors or the yellows in the skin tones. So right now what we want to do, we would like to also add that kind of cooling filter onto this image. And remember, in order to do that, we are just going to come right here and... Uh, uh, photo filter like this. So come under photo filter and I uh, look for click down and look for cooling filter 82. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to play around with this density because I can uh, opt for reducing on the opacity of the overall filter by coming right here under opacity and just uh, knocking it down like that uh, to remove uh, those kind of warm tones. Uh, from the image so what we want to do we are going to come right under the color balance option so drop down and look for the color balance yeah so we're just going to get the color balance and you're going to play around with these skin tones even more so usually i prefer to play around with my highlights so i'm going to come to the highlights right like that i'm going to add some kind of blue tones uh, to the highlights of this image at, at around uh, let's go with around I think 9 was too much so we're going to go with around 6 for this then we're going to also add some little bit of uh, greens uh, to this image like that to around let's go with 2 I think this looks okay so basically what I would like to do I would like to, you can see the image is now looking really dark. So I would like to increase on the uh, brightness of this image. And in order to increase on the brightness of uh, this image, you are going to come right here and you are going to create a curves adjustment layer like that. Then I'm going to make a midpoint and I'm just going to brighten up the image like that uh, slightly. I think that is. Uh, this looks okay and kind of matches with the melanin skin tone. Then I'm going to close that. Then what we are going to do basically, we want to uh, play around with the selective color option in just Photoshop. So come and click on selective color. Then we want to intensify on the blacks in the image. So come under the blacks. You can see these are the blacks. And they're just going to knock the blacks up slightly to around... Let's go with around 2 and you are going to come under uh, the reds because I, I, I'm going to add a little bit of magentas in the reds like that to around 1. So it is really not too much and it is uh, subtle. So you can see what you have just done. So if at all you feel that is not okay for you, you can come and uh, play around or add a little bit of contrast into this image like this and... Uh, come and just uh, knock up the contrast of uh, the image like that to around 3 and if at all you want to brighten it up a little bit just come and brighten it up to around 4 so you can see we have already gotten those uh, rich melanin or chocolate kind of skin tones but basically what we would like to do we are going to come like I told you when we are starting this tutorial we're going, we are going to come right down to the black and white uh, panels right here and we are going to play around with these uh, yellows and the reds so let's come and you can see when you knock down the reds you can see what it uh, makes of your image so just knock it down slightly then you are also going to come the yellows and you are going to knock it down uh, slightly so I think uh, this looks okay so what I would like to do, I would like to put all we have done for the color grading in one group so that you guys can see 
what we have uh, been able to achieve for this very image and how we have been able to color grade this image. And before we can do that, we can still come under the hue and saturation option. And you're going to come under the reds like this. And we can as well play around with the lightness of uh, the reds in this image uh, to see what works. So I think at around 9, uh, 9 looks okay to me. Then uh, you can as well come to the yellows and uh, you can play around with the yellows in the image to see uh, basically what uh, works best for you. I think uh, the image uh, now looks okay to me. Yeah, it looks okay. So we want to put all we have done into a group so that uh, we can see what we have done or whether we can turn down the opacity of our color grading. And in order to do that, we are going to uh, select all of the layers. So make sure you come and click on the topmost layer. So just come and scroll all the way down and hold down the shift button or the shift key on the keyboard and click on this layer. So after you have done so, you can just drag and drop them into this new group icon or you can just click ctrl g yeah g for girl or command g on the keyboard and put them in a group so hit ctrl g or command g to put them in a group so we are going to name our group color grade or you can name it whatever you want so let's see the before and after for this image in general so this was the image initially before, and this is the after, before, after, before, after. And if at all you feel like uh, the image is really having so, so much in the shadows, you can as well uh, play around with the shadows by simply coming and creating a stamp visible layer or a screenshot for all we have done for on this image by hitting shift, yeah, shift alternate, Command E or Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer for all you have done. And you can as well duplicate that layer by hitting Control or Command J on the keyboard. Then you are going to come right under Filter and you are going to come to Camera Row Filter. You can as well come and intensify on the on this image, especially the shadow area. By coming the shadows and just uh, bringing them up like that. Uh, to reduce on the amount of uh, the shadows in this image. So you can see the before and the after. It is really not too much and it is really subtle. And we can still uh, notice uh, the background uh, of this image. And after you have done so and you feel like it is okay for you. You can just come and hit the OK button to approve those settings so you can see the image before after before after so we have just intensified or increased on the amount of uh, the shadows in the image to eliminate most of them since uh, most of the shadows were really b uh, black so we can just put all this uh, including the color grade uh, into one group so that uh, the color grading can be uh, really in one specified group color grade like that so let's see the before and after so that's the image before after before after you can see what we have just done with the color grading of this very image so you can see what we have just done on this very image and if at all you found this tutorial really helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time or if i've never subscribed to this channel I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial and don't forget to keep creating.